How to create a high resolution or pixel shift image on the Panasonic G9. First of all, what is a high resolution image? It's an image taken by merging multiple images in your camera, taken with the sensor slightly shifted in various directions. The best thing of all is that you can make one completely in your camera without using any post processing software on your computer. The Panasonic G9 has a 20 megapixel micro four third sensor, but using this feature, you can create an 80 megapixel raw image that has a lot more detail than the typical 20 megapixel image. This is very useful for macro photography in controlled conditions as well as reproducing artwork because an 80 megapixel image will allow you to print a lot bigger than a 20 megapixel image. It's important to note that although this feature can work with some movement in your image, it's best done where the scene is completely still. Moreover, it's best done on a tripod, as any blurring due to jittery handholding will degrade the image quality. How can you make a high resolution image in camera? Step 1. Make sure you are in a photo shooting mode like Aperture Priority. Of course, it doesn't work with video. Step 2. Click on Menu and go to the Photo menu. Go to page 4 to 5 and select High Resolution Mode. Step 3. Make sure you select the right options. I'd recommend RAW. The simultaneous record normal shot mode is if you want to take a normal RAW. This feature is useful if there's a chance the image stack will not work and you still want to preserve a normal 20 megapixel RAW as a backup. The shutter delay option is useful because it allows you to minimize camera shake if you're on a tripod. 4 to 8 seconds is usually good enough to do that, but you can also select a longer time if you want to place yourself in the shot, just like the self timer. Finally, the motion blur option gives the camera a chance to correct motion blur. Mode 1 is with no correction, and you can leave it on this setting if you're sure the scene is rock solid. Mode 2 can be used to correct motion blur, but it's not perfect. Personally, I only use Mode 1 with very steady scenes. You might also want to select Mode 1 if you don't mind a little motion blur in the scene, such as with long exposure photography. Step 4. Once your options are to your liking, click Start. Now you can focus and frame your shot. You'll notice that there's a new icon on the display that indicates the high resolution mode. You can turn it off by pressing the FN2 button. Step 5. Once you've got the composition you like, press the shutter to take a shot as normal. If you set a delay, the shot will be taken after the specified delay. The camera will do some processing to make the image. That's it. The new high resolution file will be on your memory card, ready to be copied off for editing. Also remember that once you take your high resolution shot, the high resolution mode will still be activated. So don't forget to turn it off by pressing FN2 once you are done. I hope you have fun creating high resolution RAW files so you can get even more detail. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again next time.